Hello, in this lecture we will define book value. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of book value is assets acquisition costs less its accumulated depreciation or depletion or amortization, also sometimes used synonymously as the carrying value of an account. Couple key points of the definition here. We are generally talking about assets when we are thinking about book value. More specifically, we're often talking about property, plant, and equipment or intangible assets, assets that will uh, have depreciation or depletion or amortization over time. So we're going to put the asset on the books as an asset when purchasing it. And then we're going to allocate that cost in the form of depreciation, depletion, or amortization. For example, if we had a tank here, this is going to be a piece of equipment that we are purchasing. We would then put it on the books if we paid cash for it or a loan for it at the purchase point. We would not be expensing it as a tools or equipment expense. We would be putting it on the books as an asset because it's going to benefit, it's going to benefit the future. So we're going to be using this to help generate revenue in the future. Therefore, we're going to be putting it on the books as an asset as opposed to if we purchased something like small tools when we consumed it sometime near the point of purchase, therefore we would expense it. That's going to be in accordance with the matching principle. Once we have the tank on the books as equipment in this case, then we're going to depreciate it over the useful life in an attempt to match that cost to the use, the time period in which it has been used to help generate revenue. Now, we're going to do that not by decreasing the equipment directly, but by creating another account called accumulated depreciation. Why would we do that? Because that'll tell our reader a few different things. It's going to tell our reader, look, this is the cost that we have on it, and we're going to decrease that cost and expense it over the useful life. However, it's just an estimate. And in order to indicate to our readers that it is an estimate, and it's not, obviously, we only have one piece of equipment here and over the useful life it's not going to go away but the value will go down therefore we're going to record the, the decrease in value in another account to show that decrease. The easiest way to do this the most uh, basic way and the way we first think about when we think about any other formats of calculated depreciation we usually start with the straight line method. So a straight line method of depreciation would take the cost minus the salvage value, the amount that it will be worth at the end of the useful life, such as scrap, we can scrap it for, even if it's not useful, we might be able to scrap it for parts. That will give us the amount that we need to depreciate over the useful life. Then we're going to divide by the useful life, this being four years, estimating how long we're going to use this piece of equipment in order to help us generate revenue. That will give us the yearly depreciation. So in this case, we have 59,375 that we will depreciate each year over the useful life of four years that will result after four years of an accumulated depreciation of 237,500, leaving us with a book value calculated at cost minus the accumulated depreciation at the end of four years of the salvage value of 20,000. So if we were to record the depreciation, for example, in year one, then, we would have the debit to the depreciation expense allocating the expense for that year. So of the cost of 257500 we believe that we're going to use up 59375 of it, therefore decrease net income by the amount that we have consumed of that cost in accordance with the matching principle. We're going to record a contra asset, an asset with a credit balance, in accumulated depreciation of the 59375 the difference here being the book the book value. Book value is going to be the cost, 257500 less the accumulated depreciation, 59375 Accumulated depreciation being different than depreciation expense. Accumulated depreciation being an asset, an asset that will con uh, continue to accumulate over the useful life. So for example, in year two, we're going to have the same depreciation expense as we had in year one but the accumulated depreciation will go up from 59,375 that we uh, had in year one 
plus another 59,375 depreciation expense, accumulating the total depreciation in accumulated depreciation to 118,750. Therefore, the book value in year two would be the 2,575 minus the 118,750 uh, accumulated depreciation of a book value in uh, of 137, uh, 138,750 as opposed to year one, where we had the same cost, 2,575 minus one year's accumulated one the accumulated depreciation as of the end of year one 59375 for the book value of 198125